Take a look. This video getting close to 200,000 views on our WTOC Facebook page. Baxley police searching for those two assault suspects. Today, Bureau Chief Dow Kennedy sat down with the victims of this brutal attack. And Dow, what do they have to tell you? They, David, they say being in their business, they get dissatisfied customers from time to time, but never anything resembling what happened to them. Jeanette Norris's broken nose tells only part of the story. She says two customers at her Quick Chick stand Thursday complained their food was cold. After a few minutes back and forth, Jeanette says she refunded their money, but... She went berserk. She just lost it. Him and her both started cussing and beating on the window. Norris came outside to tell them police were on the way when the woman started punching and slapping her in the face. What Jeanette couldn't see as she staggered back inside was her daughter getting out of the truck to help. One of my employees started shouting, he's got her, he's got her. And that's when I found out that he had hit her. Who does that to a child? Who turns around and hits her like he would a grown man? He needs putting up under the jail. Even veteran officers like Baxley's police chief say they've never seen an unprovoked attack like this. Cameron surveillance footage that we got that we put out tells it all. I mean, it's just brutality. The suspects in the case, Eric and Latasha Smith, face several felony warrants. Chief Godfrey says they've been flooded by tips from WTOC viewers who recognize the two, something that makes the Norrises grateful. Now you hear the old thing, what the people don't want to get involved, they got involved. Between Facebook and social media and you guys at WTOC is amazing the responses we've had from people. And we have information on the Smith's descriptions as well as descriptions of vehicles they may be driving, one license plate. We've got all that on our website, WTOC.com. You can also check that video on that website as well as our Facebook page. Now, it's there. We are following this. We are staying in touch with uh, Baxley Police, Appling County Sheriff's Deve investigators are involved as well as many other communities between here and Savannah. We are staying in touch with them and as soon as there are changes in this case, we'll let you know. Live in Baxley, Dow Kennedy, WTOC News.